such a time as this. <clears throat> and welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness. Let's set the, the stage for this video. Psalms 2, starting at verse 10. Now, therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Bless it, bless it are all who take refuge in him. As you have been listening to for such a time as this, we, we use that text whenever we deal with rulers of the earth, presidents, prime ministers, senators, whomever. Anyone in government who's ruling, Psalm 2 is encouraging leaders on the earth to rule as though they are going to give an account because they are. And so what's going on in Canada, it is now February 15th of 2022. We're making this video. And as you know, the truckers are bringing Canada to their knees. And, uh, okay, I'm not going to say it. And, and, and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, is trying to clamp down and scare them. Well, his premiers are starting to turn on him. Uh, the premier, my understanding, is Canada's backwards, uh, crazy way of saying governor. I'm joking, Canadians. I'm joking. That's how they they say they they say governor and Canadian is his premier. So the premiers are breaking with him. And as of February 15th of 2022. Here's what one premier who's breaking with the prime minister. Here's what he has to say. You know, you, you can go to you can go to Costco, you can go to Walmart, you can go shopping. You know, you don't know if the person has a shot beside you or not. But we also know that it doesn't matter if you have one shot or ten shots. You can catch COVID. See, the prime minister has triple shots, and I, I know hundreds of people with three shots that caught COVID. We just have to be careful. We've got to always make sure we wash our hands and and move forward. But. Colin, we can't stay in this position forever. We gotta learn to live with this and get on with our lives. I bet if I asked every single person in this room, do you want these damn masks or do you want them off? They want them off. They wanna get back to normal. They wanna be able to go for dinner with their families. And there's every single person, including myself, knows people that are unvaccinated. You know, sure, there's there's the rebel rousers, and then there's just hardworking people that just don't believe in it. And, and that's their choice. This is about, again, a democracy and freedoms and liberties. And I, I hate, as a government, telling anyone what to do. We just got to get moving forward and, and get out of this and protect the jobs. You know, we're, I think a lot of people call them, probably yourself too, everyone's done with us. Like, we are done with it. Let's let's start moving on and cautiously and, you know, we, we've, we've followed the rules, all of us, like 90 percent of us for, for over two years. The world's done with it. So let's just move forward. You hate as a government telling people what to do. You're rare if you're telling the truth. Look, um, February 15th of 2022, we're here, United States of America, and there are rumblings, there are rumblings that their the truck convoy is going to start anywhere between March 1st and March 5th of this year, starting in California, going all the way to Washington, D.C. If that is true, and once that truck starts, we're going to try to be doing daily updates on this convoy and see what happens in this country. Oh, it could get ugly because in Canada, when they snatch gas cans out of people's hands, uh, it ain't going to be that easy here in the United States of America. Um, um, I'll just leave it at that. Truckers ain't going to allow that. And you're going to have pa pa you're gonna have patriots that ain't going to allow that stuff. So um, that's going to be interesting. But, but anyway, we'll, we'll see where this goes. We will see what happens. And boy, whoo. Interesting time to be alive. Let's see how it plays out in Canada, and let's see what happens here in these great United States of America. For such a time as this.